Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I want to welcome you to this auspicious occasion for the Revere Housing Authority. This unit that we have here today, uh, before I do that, I'd like to introduce the people that are most helpful to us in getting the funds that we need and also have been very supportive of the Revere Housing Authority throughout the years. I'd like to uh, first introduce uh, City Councilor Stephen Marabito, uh, City Councilor Ivan Olaselski, who's the Ward 2 Councilor, the Council, City Councilor of this Ward, and Councilor John Powers, who's Ward 5 Councilor. These councils have always been very supportive of our actions and needs at the uh, Revere Housing Authority. And we'd like to thank them and take this opportunity to thank them and their uh, fellow councilors uh, and lady councilor that uh, now presently serving at the city of Revere. And we have from representative from the Speaker DeLeo's office, uh, Barbara Bishop. I'd like to welcome you and thank you. And the speaker has always been very supportive of our, our needs, as well as Representative Ro Rosalie Vincent and uh, State Senator Anthony Pesticelli. The mayor has sent his regrets today because he had another meeting at the state, at the state house, that he had to attend. And uh, he'd like to me, for me to extend his best wishes and congratulations for what we've accomplished. Again, he has been very supportive of us and the job that we have to do. This unit is part of a much larger project that the Revere Housing Authority and the Board of Commission has undertaken. About six months ago, the Revere Housing Authority was faced with a dilemma that seemed highly unlikely to have a resolution. 12, 12 or so units have been offline, if you put them in, total them up, approximately 33 years. So that's 33 years, one, that the Revere Housing Authority hasn't received any rents, and then further, the 33 years that those units have not been able to house the needy, which is our goal, to give good, clean, safe housing to the people the most in need. The RHA at that time had an option to sell the properties for a dollar to a developer with no replacement of units. That was the suggestion of the Department of Housing Community Development. The RHA implored the representative of the DHED to work with them and find a solution that was more palatable to everyone. After numerous meetings and discussions with Mr. Paul McPollin of the Department of Housing Community Development, a very creative financing plan arose. And I do have to say it was very creative. I believe from four different areas of state government, we're receiving funds in order to do not only this property, but also the other 11 or 12 units. The RHA received in this fiscal year 800,000, a little more than 800,000 to renovate the 705 projects in the city. Most of the, well, all of these 705s, if I'm not mistaken, are, are right here in this ward, in Ward 2. This was the largest award that the state has given to a housing authority this year. Further, after more deliberations and maybe seeing more of our point of view, the state decided to issue another million dollars, a little bit more than a million dollars additional funds in order to get this project completed. It has a one-year timeline. Within one year, we're looking at June of next year to have all of the units that were offline to finally come online and be very productive for the Revere Housing Authority and provide the need of housing to those people who will uh, be residents in them. I would like to publicly thank our partners in the housing business that we are in, partners that we are in and the housing business that we're in. First of all, Aaron Gornstein, the Undersecretary of Housing and Community Development, and Mr. Paul McBowen for his assistance, and also everyone that works with us at DHCD. Truly, they have shown this to be a partnership, and because of this partnership, we'll be able to do wonderful things with the money and do wonderful things for those most in need. Further, I'd like to thank the Executive Director, Linda Shaw, for her hard work. I'd like to thank the administration and the maintenance employees of the Revere Housing Authority for their hard work because it doesn't just take money to do things, it also takes administration in order to get the bids out 
and make sure the contracts fit and go through, go through the bidding process according to uh, 30B of the Massachusetts General Laws and also the finance laws to the other um, bidding laws, which I don't have the top, off the top of my head right now, but when I get back, I'll talk to our purchasing agent and she'll tell me exactly what they are. The other is the maintenance. Now, the maintenance put an awful lot of time and effort into making certain that the work is, one, being done properly, and the work that is done that may not be covered by the funds, the work will be done by our own maintenance staff. So, again, kudos to them. So, at this time, uh, I would like to thank everyone for coming today. And also, I would like to, uh, first, I think we should have a, a comment, uh, some comments from the Ward Council, Ivan Ovaselsky, because he's a partner in this, the same as Council Marabito and Council Powers. However, this is his ward, and we are being good citizens and good neighbors in this ward by renovating these buildings. And you've been always helpful to us, Ira, and a major force in helping us get things done. So if you'd like to say a few words. Thank you, George. Thank you, George and Linda and everybody here. Thank you. Uh, for uh, helping to clean up my ward. Uh, it's been a long time coming. Uh, I thank everybody for all the work, especially the guys in our uh, yellow shirts down below me now. And you did a, I see you down here every day and all over the ward, and you're doing a great, great job. There isn't enough thank you that we can give to you guys and, uh, and the ladies that work in there. So thank you very much. Uh, but uh, th this facility is uh, similar to what we did down in Dana Street. And like George said, we're doing to uh, 12 facilities, uh, 11 facilities all over my ward. And I love this place. A lot of the buildings around here are being renovated, not only by the housing, but also by private private developers. And things are really looking good around here. Uh, we have a nice neighborhood. I welcome our new neighbors that are going to be moving in here. And uh, we welcome you. And of course, you can call me anytime you need me. I'll give you my card later on. And uh, we look forward to working with you. So thanks to everybody, Linda and George, and uh, our members of the uh, administration. Hank is here, and Henry's here. So uh, thank you guys for all your hard work and, and good things that are happening around here. Thank you. Thank you, Council. Uh, at this time, I'd just like to give you a little background about 65 Thornton. 65 Thornton Street was built in... Uh, 1981, and each floor has three bedrooms. Uh, this unit has been offline since 2003. So that's the number of years, 11 years, which we haven't been able to utilize this property to be productive in our portfolio. Uh, the other area that I wanted to go into is to introduce to you the people who have been chosen and the family that has been chosen, which is most exciting to me because it's a family of three daughters, and I have three daughters. Uh, not that I have preference that, but it's just that <laughs> they uh, inform me today they have three daughters. So uh, what I'd like to do is, if they would, uh, come up and we'll present the keys to them. And we're going to have to maybe remove the ribbon to get them up here. Uh, why don't we just, well, I wanted them to be part of the ribbon cutting. Okay, very good, Barbara. Thank you. Come on up. This family is, again... Uh, Father and a, made up of father and mother and three daughters. The uh, father is Mustafa Anabar. Come right up here. Right here, Mr. Uh, Anabar. How are you? Congratulations. And I've already spoken to the mother, Mary Tease Mary, yeah. Minna Tease Mary, and Raja Guza. Okay. And they gave me a uh, lesson on uh, pronunciation before. And uh, what is so important here that they were able to give to people who would do appreciate what we have given them here and provided them with housing. So we'd like to congratulate all of you, and thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I'd like to you. give you the keys to the apartment. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Thank Here's you. the keys. Thank you. Okay. So at, at this time, if we'd like to now cut the ribbon, and we'll put this back the way it was, we yeah. hope. I think I can do that. <laughs> oh, this is the one. Here are the scissors. I was going to cut. So, Linda, Linda, get over up. here. Linda, get up. Everybody, 
everybody move up? John, John and everybody. Yeah, we're right here. Here we are, right here. Okay, on. Right. <laughs> Goes to show we're always ready. <laughs> so at this time, I'd like to thank everybody for coming. There's going to be a, a, uh, a tour of the apartment, which I hope you'll come in and see. You can see by the pictures there the previous condition of the apartment, and now you'll be able to view the condition as it is now. And I think they're doing a wonderful, wonderful job. And everyone is back, as uh, invited back. Oh, before I end, I would like to also thank the Board of Commissioners. Uh, Mr. Peroni, who is the Vice President, wasn't able to attend today. Anthony Peroni. I'd like to thank uh, Hank Greenberg, Henry Mancini, and Robert Furlong for their support. Uh, at this time, everyone is invited back to the main office for refreshments, and that's at 70 Coolidge Street. So. Hope to see you there. Thank you so much for coming. And we'll have another one of these in the future because we have 11 more units that will be coming on board. And we're looking forward to it. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.